Hi, Kevin here. I'm going to show you how to do a new and exciting look out of our new collection called Honey. And Honey is a very short looking look on long hair. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a lot of the hair, sew it all back, and then bring all this front hair forward to try and make it look like it's short. Now Honey has been inspired by the short haircuts of the 60s and I've been really fascinated by the look of short hair, but I don't, ne I don't necessarily want to cut the hair off. I'm going to begin to prep the hair with anti-gravity spray. So I want to get that all through my ends, mid lengths and roots. Okay, now I'm going to give that a quick comb through with my wide tooth comb and then we're going to smooth that out with a roll brush and a blow dryer. The aim here is for a smoother texture, so you want to try and get those ends really smooth. Anti-gravity will give you the hole, it'll give you a bit of a, a weightless texture and a smooth finish. Okay, so step two, you want to section the hair to just behind the ear and you want to section the entire back section and pull that hair up into a ponytail. Sometimes it might be nice to take a little bit of night Rider, really work that through your fingers and then just run that over the back of the hair. Really get that nice and tight up into the back and then brush through with your smoothing brush. So keep on brushing that to really brush that Night Rider through. You can see the Night Rider really moistens up the hair, makes it really easy to work with. And then what you want to do is you want to secure that top section into a ponytail. So now that you've got your ponytail in, you want to come around and do the front sections. Now you want to make a, a horseshoe section on top of the head. So the horseshoe section is up from the crest to the crest, straight back. So you want to go straight across here, like so, section that off, same on the other side, and blend your sides into the ponytail at the back. Now you want to clip away the top, because we're going to pull those sides back into our ponytail at the back. So clip your top away, you're going to begin at the sides. So you want to get that nice and smooth on the roots. You're going to use your smoothing brush. So we're going to pull that hair nice and tight so it goes nice and smooth and then we're going to sew that into the ponytail. So you want to sew that straight through the ponytail. Like so you want to go once, twice and then three times to secure it. And you're going to finish off with a blanket stitch. So you go through the loop to secure the section. Okay, now once you've got the sides up, you want to take your remaining section and split that straight down the middle. You go straight with your comb, split that right down the middle. Okay, so now you want to take your ponytail, you're going to take the top hair, swing it all forward to work out where your fringe is going to be. And the way to create that section is to split your ponytail into two sections and then simply tie it into a knot like so, and then pull down nice and tight. Then you're going to swing that forward, and then we're going to sew those sections in to create our soft fringe. Then you want to secure this section here before sewing with a butterfly clip. Okay, so once your fringe is secure, now what we want to do is we want to change the texture of the sides simply by using a butterfly clip and pinch the hair between my fingers to create a wave in the hair. So I'm going to go down the shaft, put two on each side. So again, pinch the hair in. And then we're going to apply a bit of anti-gravity spray and dry that in so we get more of an undulating look around the front of the head. So you want to just lightly spray that in and then give that a blast with the dryer to dry the product in. You want to make sure that's completely bone dry. Okay, so once dried and cooled, you simply just want to remove the clips. So you can see there as we remove the clips, we get a great sort of you know, messy sort of texture, which is going to be really good for our shorter looks around the front of the face. So now what you want to do is you want to split the, the sides into two and then crisscross the sides over to create our shape. You take sort of side one, you'll crisscross it over onto side two and pin it with a pin clip. Then you'll take your other side from here, split it into two, crisscross it over and pin it to make a shape. Same with this one, crisscross it over and then pin it into shape. Then take this one forward, crisscross it over. I tend to 
in the hair in a forward motion. So you're trying to make the hair look like it's a forwardy sort of haircut. Try and bring all the little short bits out as much as you possibly can to create a short looking shape. Okay, what we'll do now is we'll sew that hair in, remove all the pins and we'll be done. Now it's a tiny little bit of sewing, so you don't really want to make your sewing obvious. So now we're just going through the head and just picking out little pieces that don't look short, pinching them in with a string so that the hair looks short and choppy. Tie that into a knot and then just one more knot for good measure. And cut the strings as you go. Once, another knot and cut your string. Going through. Okay, so now we've got our desired shape. And then all we need to do is take our pins out. So you must carefully remove the pins because you don't want to hurt the client. Now I'm just going to define the fringe with a bit of Knight Rider. Only a little bit. Massage that into your fingertips. And then we'll just come through and we'll just define all those ends with the Knight Rider just to smooth any little bits that we've got and to give it a bit more of a defined texture. We just want to make that fringe look a bit more piecier and a bit endier on the ends and the Knight Rider has a really good hold to it and it keeps the hair matte but defined. And then what's really nice about the shape is it has a little bit of extra height which makes it look a little bit chicer as well but you get a great sort of short looking look on long hair.